Welcome back to the CSC Garage. I'm Matt and today we're going to be showing you how to install two different racks on your FT26. The installation is pretty simple, but our expert James is going to really clue us in on just how quickly it can be done. Let's get started. Hi, James again. Um, this time we're going to set up a, a top peak rack on a FT26. Um, it uses the same tools to install. You've got a four millimeter, a five millimeter Allen, and a eight millimeter box wrench. And that's pretty much it. I'll show you right now how to install. All right, so the next step would actually be uh, installing the, the rack bracket that comes with your bicycle. So you take that out of the box there, and then you, uh, you just install it onto these two, two holes here. So. Just like so. Now on, now on the FT, the struts are, are a little bit different. You install them just as is with these two holes showing. And then the struts are, are set up straight up and down. So those are the bottom struts. The top, the top struts, you put the, the bolts and the nuts with washers down here. And these are gonna go at the last, on the last slot. Alrighty, and the next step, the next step would actually be removing one of these bolts from the derailleur guard here. That's going to be used to, to put the, connect the rack onto the bike. So we're going to loosen this one a little bit, just so that it, there's a little bit of play. But this is the one that we're going to actually remove. And we're not going to use this bolt again, so you can uh, just put it aside. And then the, the bolts that come with the, the rack, they're a little bit longer than the one we just took off, so since the rack's already there with the strut, we're going to put the cable in inside. You drop the little bolt inside there. And then we'll... Don't tighten it all the way, just give it a little loose. And then we're going to move over to the other side. We're going to use the one in the, in the middle. So it's not gonna be it's not gonna be the one all the way behind. You wanna use the first tool up front. It's threaded there. Again, not don't tighten it all the way yet. We'll have a loose here. So those are set there. You may notice that the the, the holes are offset back here, so you have a, one strut that's slightly sitting behind the other strut. But that, that's okay. Now we move on to the upper struts. So the upper struts, you just connect them to the bracket with a bolt, two washers and a nut. So Okay, look, now once you got the top rack mounts here, tighten down, and you just move up the rack here a little bit, to straighten it out a little bit, and then we're going to tighten up these, uh, these here. Once you start, once you finish up these, don't forget to go back and tighten up the, the lower struts. So we'll go back down here. 
and uh, make sure these are, are snugged up, both sides. And you're set. All right, now we're gonna install an FT-179 rack uh, onto an FT-26 bike. And uh, it uses uh, hex bolts, so you're gonna require uh, uh, two eight millimeter box wrenches. And you're also gonna require a four millimeter Allen wrench so you can remove uh, one of the bolts from the derailleur guard. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove one of the one of the derailleur guard bolts, and that would be the upper one. Now in the bag of hardware, one of the bolts is going to be a little longer than the other, so that's the one you're going to use for this side. And um, we we'll just put it right over there. And again, you don't want to tighten it all the way just yet. Leave it slightly loose. And then we'll go to the other side. Now all the hex bolts are gonna be, are gonna be the same length from here on out. All right, well the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna connect the upper brackets here onto the, onto the bracket of the frame here. You may have to move around these a little bit, kind of just bend them though. They're not gonna break, but just kind of put them right in there so that they're as close as possible there. So make ease a lot easier to install. Again, these are two eight millimeter wrenches. Snug that up. And you snug up the bottom also. Now if you notice if your rack is a little off on top, if it's, this one seems to be pretty straight, um, but if it's a little off, it's, there's no bother to kind of just move it a little bit. You can kind of use a little force just to kind of bend it straighten out. You probably don't have to do much, but just to be nice and straight there, that should be okay. Thanks for joining us once again on the install of a couple of racks. If you need any accessories or parts for your CSC e-bike, be sure to check us out at csc-ebikes.com. I want to spend a special thanks to James for showing us how to install these racks. And most importantly, enjoy the ride.